Hello, guys. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for Thank having you. us. Thanks. Thanks. For... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My first question is for you, Julius. What yes. were your key inspirations behind Overlord? For me, my uh, my journey began when I was a, a young boy. Uh, my grandfather was in the uh, in the Second World War in the North African campaign, and uh, he had a bunch of pictures that he took. Um, and so I used to be obsessed, obsessed about this photo album, um, and and go through it for hours on end, asking him questions and. Um, and it really, I guess, as even a young as a young kid, I, I knew this was big. This is something bigger than myself, bigger than him. And so that's that's sort of. Insp I've always wanted to make a war movie since then, even a crazy, bonkers movie like ours. What happened then? I found him inside the church. The crowds grabbed me as soon as I hit the ground. Inside the church? How did you get inside the church? Dead bodies. Wow. Slow, Slow down. down. They're Slow down. Listen to me. Down. They're doing experiments Breathe. on them in there. They're doing experiments on the villagers. What? Just like her aunt. They're burning people with these flamethrowers and they're still moving the bodies. <laughs> Cocoon things Breathe. in there. Did you get eyes from the tower compound? She doesn't, she doesn't have a body and she's still, she's still talking and I, I saw those of Voice! What? Did you get eyes on the tower compound? Why? What attracted you to the role of Ford in the film? It was honestly, uh, I thought the story was cool, and I liked the character of Ford, and I, and I, put my trust in in Julius and JJ, that everything that we were gonna do was gonna be in the right hands. It was gonna be executed well, and uh, that that's honestly probably the number one thing that drew me to the, to the project. So the term overlord can mean a ruler, as you know, or someone with great authority. If you had to be ruled by one person, who would you choose and why? Who would you care to be ruled by? Mm. It all turns out bad. <laughs> wow. If you were the overlord, what would be the one rule you would enforce? <laughs> then I'm being a hypocrite. Oh, oh. If all of a sudden I'm like, but this is what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> you know? uh, yeah. I don't know. What would you? What would rule? What rule would you enforce? Ah, what rule would I enforce? Um, everyone has to go see a movie once a week. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Everybody has to uh, rule. I would enforce, but then it becomes like North Korea. I was gonna say like everybody has to say hello and. Oh, should I'm supposed to say world peace? Aren't world I? peace. Yeah. Uh, yes. World peace. World okay. peace, yes. everyone. Excellent. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What scares you the most? In the movie or just in life? In life. Oh. Um, what scares me the most? I guess not uh, being like, sometimes when you're, you're like not present for the moment, you kind of feel like the moment's passing you by. I guess that kind of like, when you uh, that does scare me where it's like, did I just miss, like totally miss out a week of my life that I'll never get back? I, that, that scares me the most. Cheers, how about yourself? What scares me the most? Uh, looking in the mirror and seeing wrinkles, <laughs> and going, "Holy shit!" Because you know, the self, the, the, the image of myself is like, I don't know, like I'm a fresh twenty five in, in my head, and then I look in the mirror, and I'm like, "Oh my god, that guy's old." <laughs> so yeah, getting old it scares me. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Uh, Thank you.